Hello everyone, and today I will be showing you guys 8 death run tips to help you guys win in death run. My first tip of the day is to get a good running start. As you will see, everyone likes to run up close towards the glass, which means when the glass comes down, they will need to start sprinting as soon as that happens. If you wait back a few blocks from behind the wall, and you get a running start, you'll be able to sprint through the wall while they have to start sprinting. So if you wait back and start to run when there's 1 seconds left, the, as soon as the wall opens, you will be able to run through and sprint and get a good head start. Tip number two is don't hold on too long to your leaps. As soon as you use your leap, it automatically likes to regen. So when you use it, then that means the 15 second recharge starts to, uh, starts to go. And if you hold on to your leaps for too long, that means that everyone else's leaps will be recharging while yours are still in your hand. So for you to make sure you use your leaps as soon as you can, but you also have to be smart with them. If you use them in the right timing and you also use them a lot and as soon as you get them, then you'll be able to get more leaps than everyone else and it will give you a huge advantage. My third tip of the day would be to not leap through portals. Sometimes if you are going through a portal and you leap through it, you might leap into another trap through that portal. And also it when it, it sometimes glitches when you let's say you leap through and that this is open, you'll die. Sometimes it doesn't register that you went through the portal and it will take you back to the original portal that you had before you leaped through that one. So it's always smarter to use your leaps over traps rather than use them through portals because when you do that, sometimes you could put yourself in dangerous situations or you could get reset back further than you were. Just like that right there. I already went through that portal, but it ended up bringing me back all the way back here. So make sure to be smart with your portals. My fourth tip of the day is to use leaps wisely. There are certain situations where it is better to use leaps than others. Traps that I like to use leaps on are ones like the falling floor here. Traps that you can't get through if the death uses it on you. A trap like parkour, you still can get through sometimes when the deaths use the trap. But another one would be this one where the floor disappears. You can get through it even when it's used like I am right now. But a trap like this one here, the TNT or the fire, those are traps that I always like to use my leaps on because you can't get through whenever death uses them. You'll get caught in them every time if you're running through it and it's used. Another th place you don't want to use your leaps is around corners. You want to use them in straight areas that you'll be able to get through and make the most distance. It is very important to use your leaps wisely, but you also have to remember to use them often. You can't save them too long, but you want to use them in situations that you know are going to help you. Traps like parkour are sometimes a good situation like this one because they do take up the most time. Tip number five of the day would be to take tight corners. This is how it is in racing, and it also works the same in death run. The fastest way around the track is the shortest way, so you never want to take long turns. You always want to make sure that you're efficient with your turns, and just in general, you want to be efficient on your way around the track. You want to make sure that you're not going the long way and going slowly around things. You know, the little... The little things that you do to put you give you guys an edge over everyone else, whether it's you know taking the smart turns or you know doing the little things that will give you guys the boost over everyone else that are taking wider turns. A turn that's like this one takes a lot more time to do than a turn that is like this one right here. Tip number six of the day is to not die. I know this is pretty self-explanatory, but there are always people that take crazy risks during the race and end up killing themselves or losing positions by taking crazy risks if you go play a smart race and you go through making sure not to die and making sure you, you're smart with everything smart with your leaps you don't run when you see a death there on a trap that's hard to get through you will always do well you may not win every time because taking risks is important but if you play a game or you go through the race and you don't end up dying you will always end up doing well because there will always be people that end up dying more than you or take risks that allow you to pass them by not dying. So as you can see, I'm going to be going through this race and just making sure that I don't die. And uh, it will put me in a good position. So there is a death following me, so I need to be careful. But as long as I be careful and make sure I don't die, then everyone else behind me, they may catch up to me at some points. But by me not dying, it's, it puts me in a really good position to get through and get to the finish. So as I'm going through right here, I have the final trap. And I'm able to win purely by not dying and being smart.
My seventh tip of the day is to take smart risks. There are certain situations where it's better to take a risk than others. For example, at the beginning, right after portals. If I died here right now, it means that I would only have to make up this amount of ground because I'd spawn back in here. However, if I take a risk right at the end of a trap, let's say I go over here and I try to leap and I mess up and I fall in this water. I'll be brought all the way back to the start. So for me, I personally like to take more of my risks when I'm towards the beginning. So if I come through here and I take a risk and I die and fall in the water, I'll be right back here where I started. So that's what I like to do. You do need to take risks to win. But you want to take risks that you know are not going to set you back too far. Because the biggest problem in death run when you lose is usually you get set back too far. Right here, this would be a decent trap because it's not too far away. But at the... Well, I'm not good at parkour apparently. But so this trap, you don't have to travel too far like I did there. But if I died, for example, at this trap, look how far back I, I try to do this. I can't get it. I have to go all the way back through that parkour, which does take a long time. This would be another good leap situation like before. But you want to be smart with risks because if you mess, if your risks work out, then you're going to win. If your risks don't work out, then you're going to lose and you're going to be losing by a lot because... We're going to set you back a big time if these are not done well. And last but not least would be tip number eight is do not fear the desks when you're alone. This tip does not always apply, but oftentimes deaths are going to aim to getting as many kills as possible because they get more XP. So if you're in a pack of one person or with yourself and there's a giant group behind you, sometimes, not every time, they will go after you sometimes, but oftentimes like that situation, they won't use their trap on you because they want to get as much XP as possible. Like I said, you can't guarantee this every time, but there are situations where, like here, I'm by myself, he used it. But earlier, he's tried to wait for someone to catch up to me, so then he could use the trap and get more XP. So like I said, this tip is not a set in, so set in stone one, it is not guaranteed, but oftentimes, Desk would rather get a lot of XP than let, um, than kill off one person. So that, uh, like I said, does not guarantee every single time, but it does work more times than not when you need to take a risk and do so. So those are my eight tips for the day. I hope you guys uh, enjoyed and I hope they were able to help you out. And if you guys want to see any more tips from me for more games, I can try and make more videos on them because I had a lot of fun making this one and I hope uh, it was able to help you like I said. So thank you guys for watching. Make sure to like, subscribe, and crush the bell if you're new around here. It would mean a lot and uh, yeah. I really appreciate uh, all you guys for sticking through this to the end. And uh, I will see you guys in the next one. Goodbye, guys.